Okay, in today's video, we're going to look at making an ideal transformer uh, that we, we will be able to use uh, as a bail-in, uh, for instance, in some of our different schematics. So here I have the basic elements that make up the transformer. I have four inductors, and I have two components called MINDs, or mutual inductances. Now, I'm going to... Come in here and make the inductances variable by using a PPAR statement. When we create a symbol view, this will allow us to pass an inductance value into the uh, symbol uh, and that will pass the values into these inductors. So here you can see I've done that. Now, for the mutual inductance element, or MIND, uh, we can assign a coupling factor, and I'm going to also pass that as a parameter. So the way we pass a parameter is by the PPAR statement. PPAR, in this case, I'm going to call the coupling factor KF. And here you can see that this is a coupling factor between inductors L0 and L1. So I have the names of the inductors, L0, L1, and then the coupling coefficient uh, that we're going to pass in from outside uh, from our symbol view. All right, now we have our basic schematic done. We have our four inductors uh, that are doing the coupling and the mutual uh, that are uh, acting as uh, the uh, inductors in the transformer. Uh, and then we have the two mutual inductor components. Now, when we make an ideal transformer, we want these winding inductances to be very large. That way we don't have any signal leakage uh, into the uh, inductors. We want the signal to, cop to couple across the transformer. Uh, so we'll be able to pass a large inductance uh, into the model uh, later on. For the time being, we're going to add some ports. I'm going to add three ports on the primary, P plus, P minus, and PT. That stands for PTAP. I'm going to go ahead and make these input-output ports. I'm going to wire the PTAP so that it's between the two inductors on the primary side. I'm going to add ports on the secondary side. S plus, S minus, and ST for TAP. I'm going to check and save. All right. So now we're going to create a cell view from cell view. I'd like the pins on the left to be Pins on the left to be from the primary, the pins on the right to be from the secondary, and we don't have any other pins to worry about. All right, so we've now created our symbol view. Now I'm going to do a little bit of modification to make this thing uh, look a little bit more decorative. I don't like the block pins that come uh, by default. You can change the pins by pressing P. I'm going to change these all to input output. I'm going to put P plus, P minus, PT, S plus, S minus, and ST into the design. I like the pins to be round.
All right, so here's our basic structure. I think I accidentally deleted the selection box, so I'm going to add one. The selection box is the red box. Generally, you want it to overlap exactly with your structure. So here we go. Done that. Now I'm going to make this look a little bit nicer. I'm going to add a little transformer symbol. I'm going to go into options. Oops. Options display. All right, I like to make this that snap spacing 0.03125. Let's set that right now. And I'm going to do a little bit of drawing. Okay, I'm going to add some arcs. All right, you can see I've got basic arcs that will make an inductor-like symbol. All right, I've got my basic transformer symbol now, and I'm going to stretch all the components so they fill up the symbol. All right, so here is our transformer all done. Now, we might want to add little dots. to symbolize the direction of the coupling. So now we have our transformer symbol uh, and looks pretty good. All right, I made a little bit of a modification. Uh, I like to put a, a thick wall around all my components. Uh, so that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and check and save the components created. So now we have our uh, basic transformer. Oh, I realized something. I left my cap on my secondary floating. No problem. We can fix that. All right. Now my secondary is fixed. All right. So now we have our basic uh, transformer and we can use this as a bail-in. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to uh, use this and show you how to simulate mixed signal S parameter, mixed mode S parameters. Uh, so differential versus common mode S parameters. Uh, we'll do that next time. Talk to you later.